children in heaven with faith and hope and eternal life we assist him with our prayers we pray also to the Lord for all of you may each and every one who mourns be reunited one day with our brother Lionel and together may we meet Christ Jesus when he who is our life appears in glory listen to the words that we read in the gospel of Saint Matthew when we hear the Lord say come you who are blessed by my father inherit the kingdom prepared for you the foundation of the world. Lord Jesus Christ, by your own three days in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you, and so made the grave a sign of hope that promises resurrection even as it claims our mortal body. Grant that our brother's earthly temple may go here undisturbed, and may you now awaken him into the gift of your glory, for you are the resurrection, the life. May he see you now face to face, and your light see light, and know the splendor of God live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Since God has chosen to call our brother Lionel from the earthly journey to himself, we commit this earthly temple to the ground, for we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. Lord Jesus will now welcome our beloved brother into the gift of his glory, for he is risen, the first born from the dead. So let us commend our brother Lionel to the Lord, that the Lord embrace him in his peace and allow him to live with him forever. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, you consult Martha and Mary in their distress, draw near to us who mourn for Lionel, and dry the tears of those who weep, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Remember all the good he has done, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Welcome him into eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Father, we pray for his family who mourn, comfort them in their grief, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Increase our faith and strengthen our hope in you, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayers. And kindle in our hearts a longing for heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. My dear family, in a few minutes, our time of prayer will conclude, and eventually we get back on that road that has brought us here. Remember how we will all go back in different directions, but I pray you never forget what's brought you together. The love you all share for a particular man that we know as Lionel, but you know him in a much more beautiful way. His dad, his granddad, great granddad, great great granddad, uncle, and friend. May this love always burn in your hearts and go with you wherever you go. But remember, as, as we were at church, did you hear it? Paul speaks. We we're going back to it, it'll get louder. Live in it. Trust it. It is this peace that our brother enjoys the most. No more suffering. No more pain. But everything that he has been able to receive here that is good is with him. Most especially you. May you have the faith and hope that makes you realize wherever you go, he will be with you. Together, let us ask the Lord to hear us as we say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of holiness and power, accept our prayers on behalf of your servant, our brother, Lionel. In his heart, he only desired to fulfill your will, and that is to love those you have given him. 
as his faith and love united him to his family and friends here in this world. So now may your love and mercy join us to the saints and angels in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, Amen. and let perpetual light shine upon him. May it so in the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you. And and with Holy Holy the Almighty God bless you and keep you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us continue our earthly journey in the love and peace of Christ. My dear little ones, receive this cross of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You look upon it, remember the love of your father, how he embraced him, outstretched his arms to receive you, to love you, lift you up, to carry you. But also remember how you have carried him in his elder years. Now you return that love in many ways that he can never repay, as much as you have been able to receive that love from him. When you look upon this cross, remember always the gift of your father's love. In the name of the Father and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Blessings to you. Blessings to you. Blessings to you. Blessings to you. No. 
family would like to take this time to thank all of you for being here this morning. Your attendance at the rosary service last night and for all the acts of kindness that you have shown the family. On behalf of the family together, thank you. They also like to invite all of you to come and join them at the parish hall. The family will be gathering there after the burial service and they'd like to have all of you to come and join them. They've also asked that you receive your, uh, they'll receive you over at the parish hall rather than you coming through as a line. They like to get out of this hot weather and they'd like to receive you over there where it's a little more comfortable. At this time, we're gonna close out the service. We're gonna let the pallbearers come through and place their flower on top of the casket. We're gonna invite the family then to come and place a pinch of holy sand that we have over the casket, and that's gonna be the conclusion of the services. Once again, on behalf of the Garcia family, thank you. <laughs> Pues siempre estoy pensando en él.